On April 3, 2016, there was a groundbreaking ceremony for the new Shirley Hall Middle School that was a part of Proposition 2 of the 2015 bond package. On August 18, 2017, the vision became a reality as a cornerstone ceremony and ribbon cutting event celebrated the opening of our community's newest campus. Well, I think it's a, a, an outstanding day for our community. A uh, new facility like this uh, enhances the entire, uh, not only the neighborhood, but the city of Weatherford. I think it sends a message to people outside of the district that uh, great things are happening in Weatherford, Texas and Weatherford ISD. Uh, it sends a message about how serious this community is about education and what they want for their kids in the future. Education, obviously is the great equalizer, it's the cornerstone of democracy. And so I think it's going to benefit all of us because we're going to put our, uh, our resources for the future with our kids. Because this is our community. Our school district is our community. That's the founding principles of what we stand for in this community, is teaching our kids to be responsible, respectful, productive members of our community. While it was definitely an exciting day for the student, staff, and community of Weatherford, the building will always have a special meaning for the family of Shirley Hall, who were a part of the ribbon cutting ceremony. It really warms my heart knowing that uh, her name is gonna be on this building and it's something that she would have been so proud of. Oh, she would be so proud. She'd be very pleased with it. She was, you know, on the school board for 30 years. and uh, This was her heart. Should be so proud that the citizens of Weatherford supported the bond movement to uh, build this school. It's amazing. It's been said that if the walls inside the old Shirley Hall Middle School could talk, then they would have endless stories about friendships made and teachers that inspired. If this is true, then the new building is in for a treat when it greets its first students on August 28th.